Okay, so it's Tuesday afternoon. I better start this reading vlog. There are two physical books that I'm primarily trying to read this week. Um, the first is The Skies of Kern, which is the 16th book in the Dragons of Kern series. I'm about 150 pages into this so far. Um, this book is all about these dragons of Pern. Um, the dragons protect the world from this thread that comes down and eats everything away. But in the book before this, some things have happened that mean that soon the dragons won't need to do that anymore. And there's also a lot of new technology and just new knowledge that the world is starting to use. There's also some people who really don't want to use that technology. They're very traditional and they want to keep with the traditional way of doing things, even if it's definitely worse for everyone. Uh, and they're getting very destructive towards the new technology. I will say I don't particularly enjoy the writing style of these books. Um, also, I keep thinking we're going to focus on a particular character and then we just move on because it's more a story about society rather than a story about particular characters. So even when we touch on the issues that particular characters are having, it's really only dealt with in terms of how it's affecting society. So it's much more of a broad story and it doesn't really get into a detailed plot. Anyway, I want to try and read this in the next couple of days, so I'm going to try and do that. Although, I have just gotten a job interview on Friday, and while part of me is glad that it means I have a few days to prepare, another part of me is a bit annoyed because it means that I've got a few days to be nervous and stressed about it. Um, and I know that if I'm nervous and stressed about it, it'll be hard for me to focus on my reading. So... And I mean also all the other stuff that I'm supposed to be doing other than reading because one of my reading goals is to not let my reading disrupt my normal life and obviously job interviews are priority over reading books sadly anyway I also want to really finish that so that I can move on to Edge Dancer by Brandon Sanderson this is a short story set in the Stormlight Archives world um, between the second book and the third book in the series. I recently read the second book, which is called The Way of Kings. Is The Way of Kings the first one or the second one? Words of Radiance. I never remember which way round this go. Anyway, this is in between the second and third books, so I'm up to reading it. It's only little and short, and I know I'm going to love it, so I'm super excited to get to it. Um, also, audiobooks, I am listening to The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White, and it's really making me want to get more into the world of Arthur and Camelot, especially after having read A Cathedral of Myth and Bone by Cat Howard last month, um, which has this short story, which is an Arthur retelling. So I think I'm going to dig out the 1998 Merlin miniseries because I have this vague memory of watching it when I was younger and I feel like it's a retelling that's fairly close to the original source material although I believe the original source material is like very varied and lots of different versions of the story. Anyway, I think I'm going to dig that out and try and watch that. But I also have this job interview to prep for and a couple of other jobs that I really should be applying for even though I know that if I get this one that I'm interviewing for on Friday I'll take those and not the other ones so then should I even apply for the other ones yet? I don't know, it's very annoying applying for jobs instead of just magically being given them but that's the realities of life. Otherwise I don't think much else is going on this week but you never know what will happen um, so Let's see. Good afternoon. So I've just been filming some TBR videos for the readathons that are coming up next week and uh, they were kind of silly so I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, and I thought I'd just give you a reading update. So I have been reading Skies of Kern. I'm going pretty slow but I think I might have read another 70 pages maybe. I really want to finish this today just so that I can tick it off but I do know that it's going to happen because I'm trying to do job interview prep as well as getting my videos out for the week. I don't know how I'm even going to have time to actually have a job but we'll work that out I guess. Um, This, a natural disaster just happened and it's been really interesting seeing how they use the dragons in handling that disaster. 
Um, there's also, and this is slight spoilers, so if you care, skip a little bit, but the dragons at some point in the series learn the ability to jump through time as well as through space, and so they're able to use that time jumping ability to help them deal with the disaster in a, like a really timely fashion. So that's cool, but as I said, the actual writing, not that great. Um, the other thing that I have been reading is the Guinevere Deception, and the, uh, honestly, I really need to watch that Merlin show. I almost watched some last night, but I forgot to take my iPad with me into the bath, which is where I usually watch TV shows. Honestly, watching TV shows in the bath is far superior to watching TV shows on the sofa. But anyway, I've only got an hour and a half left of the Guinevere Deception. I will say I love the change that was made to the character Lancelot, but I'm not sure about a certain plot point that's happening at the moment, whether that's in any of the original myth or whether it's been added. But regardless, I don't like it and I wish it wasn't happening. Uh, I also, there was kind of like this big twist that happened to Guinevere herself. Uh, not so much of a twist for the reader, I don't think, but definitely it was shocking to Guinevere and I was surprised that she didn't have more of a reaction to that. And I'm still really not enjoying the narration style of this particular audiobook. Anyway, an hour and a half to go, so I'm excited to see how it's going to end. I'll go for a walk later this afternoon with my mum and my sister and her dog and I'll probably finish this off while I'm on that walk. I think that's all for now, so see you in a moment. Hi, so I've just spent like the last hour or more um, practicing interview questions, talking to myself. Um, I feel like I'm going a little bit crazy now, so I thought I would update you guys instead of talking to myself anymore because blah. So last night I did finish off the Guinevere Deception when I was walking home. Uh, I did think it was pretty good. There were some twists at the end where I actually had to pause the audiobook just to think about the family tree in my head and work out that certain things weren't true. It was a bit confusing. Uh, but in the end I thought it was pretty good. Um, I'm probably only going to give it three stars because I just thought it was like an okay way fantasy, not necessarily anything amazing. But it's still a fun, enjoyable read if you don't want anything too mind-blowing. I imagine that a lot of people will enjoy it. I know I did enjoy my reading experience for sure. So after I finished that, I started The One by John Mars. This is all about a future where people can get a genetic test to hook them up with their soulmate. Um, and it's just a bunch of different people in different circumstances meeting their soulmates. Um, or not meeting their soulmates as the case is. My favourite character is definitely the one who is a serial killer and just kind of put it in as a joke to see who his soulmate was and now um, the experience is not what he expected. But I do think it's a little bit confusing keeping track of the different characters. Um, some of them are quite similar and it makes me wonder whether this would almost be better told as like a short story anthology with just each of the stories told separately rather than being interleaved because at least so far the stories don't interrelate in any way so there's no reason why they need to be told in this way. I guess we'll see whether when I get further through it things start to uh, relate a bit more but at the moment not really. Uh, also today I did go and buy some little post-it note tabs and I've stuck them in the back of Edge Dancer because I've decided I'm going to try and like mark the bits that I like even though it's a library book so I have to take them all out but I just thought it might help me um, to gather my thoughts at the end. I don't know, we're going to try that. Also last night um, I did start watching the Merlin mini series and I'm quite enjoying it. Um, there were definitely some bits that I thought were hilarious uh, and I because I've been preparing for this job interview I've got like software development stuff in my head and so there's this part where this evil king is trying to build this tower and it's not going well and there were just so many scenes that I felt sometimes really relate to like a software development environment. Maybe it's just me but I yeah, they definitely made me laugh thinking about it in that way. That's a fine position for a new castle. Don't you think? Lord Ardente. It will be impregnable, your majesty. No army can take it. Not even Uthers. How does it go? 
progress. Uh, fine, sire, fine. The limits on the west side near Bow Street. <laughs> Tell me roughly what happened. No, no, sire. <laughs> Guards! Fire! Take him away! It shouldn't have done that. It's the linnets. I'm sure it's the linnets. Get me a different architect! <laughs> hey, you! You! <laughs> Why won't it stand? I'm a soothsayer, uh, your majesty. Not an object yet. If you are a soothsayer, you should know. Tell me why it is that every time I try to rebuild the tower, it collapses. Ah, well, uh, yes, indeed, yes. Um, mm, 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 you think I should know that, sir? Yes. Yes, yes. Well, I'll, I'll read the stones. Then read them. Oh, I will, sir. I will. That's a very well, sir. Very well. Why is it? And I surround myself with a bunch of incompetent fools. It seems to be holy. It will hold this time, Your Majesty. Never fear. Never have. Good, good. The foundations are as solid. <laughs> in danger of seeming a little stupid. Hello. So it's Sunday now. Um, I was gonna update you sooner after my job interview, but my brain was not behaving. Uh, last night, the funnest thing was that uh, I realized that one of my answers to the interview questions wasn't very good, and my brain came up with a better answer, and it decided to keep telling me the better answer, even though, well, like, I agree it's a better answer. I'll take that on board for next time, you know, but I can't go back in time and give the better answer, so... Anyway, overall I think the interview went okay, but we'll just have to see whether uh, I'm what they are looking for. You never know, right? Hopefully they won't take too long to get back to me. So, reading update. Uh, I have been listening to The One, and I'm actually getting quite near the end now, and I may have decided that it's okay the way that it's interleaved the stories rather than just doing them as short stories, because something did happen in one of the stories that maybe then has an impact on the others, although maybe it'll be fine if it was still the last story in the short story anthology, it would have made you want to go back and reread all the other ones. Anyway, I am enjoying, like, pretty much all the stories have, like, lots of twists and turns and just unexpected things happening and things you would never have thought of questioning when you meet your soulmate. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, one thing though, there is a character from New Zealand, which I'm from New Zealand, and then I was listening to it. Like, let's, let's listen. Maybe I'll, we'll listen to it on 1.5 speed because that's how I'm listening to it. So, are you an Aussie? No, a Kiwi. I'm from New Zealand. Ah. When I heard that, I was like, well, what kind of accent is that? It's not a New Zealand accent. And then I, then I was like, New Zealand, New Zealand, oh my goodness, we do just say New Zealand. Like, I always, people always say the piss of how New Zealanders say New Zealand, but like, we do say it that way. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> anyway, it's nice to have a New Zealand character in there, even if they're not a super main character. Always got to have some New Zealand representation, right? Other than that, I'm honestly still reading Skies of Pern and I'm questioning my life choices. But I'm going to try really hard to finish it today. Today. Uh, I'm also trying to finish some video stuff up that I was supposed to have already done. 
um, and some million other things that I was supposed to have already done and I haven't done them. But this I'm going to finish. I'm a bit annoyed that I'm probably not going to get to Edge Dance for this week. But I mean, maybe? We'll see. Hi, so it's Monday the next day and I've been meaning to finish up this vlog all day and I have been not doing that. What have I been doing? Hmm, I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's wrap up this vlog. So last night I tried to finish off Skies of Pern and I didn't quite make it. Uh, I was 20 pages short but I was so tired. Uh, so I fell asleep and then this morning I did finish it off though. And I think I did enjoy the end more than I enjoyed the beginning. I think the problem with this book is that for a lot of the book it's pretending to be a book about these abominators which are people that are against this new technology. Actually, that's not really the focus of the book and all of the stuff in the book about that is a distraction and it, it's not really resolved within this book. It sort of is, but not really. What this is really about is this natural disaster that happens and then the dragons helping out with that and the dragons and the dragon riders figuring out how they're going to be valuable once they're no longer chasing Thread because Thread only falls semi-regularly and some changes are coming. There's also a romance in this, but it got so little airtime uh, for most of the book. And then the end was pretty much just about that couple and how they played into the events that were happening. I don't know. Overall, I just think this was a bit unfocused. And of course, the writing is kind of quite matter of fact and not detailed. So I don't know. I almost liked the end. <laughs> But overall, I think I'm going to give it two stars. Uh, so that's that. At least it's done. I can keep heading towards the books where Todd McCaffrey helped with the writing. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to make it, but I'm going to try. Uh, also this week, I did read two audiobooks, The Guinevere Deception, which I quite liked. I gave it three stars. It was just good. But I do think the characters were perhaps lacking a little bit of depth. Uh, then I also read the one which I gave four stars and I debated with myself whether it actually deserves five stars but I think not quite but I do think it's a book that a lot of people are going to really enjoy so I'm glad I read it. So overall three things this week I think that's all right uh, considering I had other things going on so that's all for now as always thank you so much for hanging out with me this week I hope you're having a really wonderful day and I will see you next time.